What's up, words? Today we're gonna to talk about procrastination. Why people are procrastinating. You know, a lot of people always hit me up. They don't even have no clue. They don't even know why. They're just such of a negative and disbelief mindset. You know, where they procrastinate on the shit that they want to do, shit that they want to accomplish. And I'm like, well, the thing about it is simple. You know, procrastination comes from you actually not believing in yourself. You know, you don't value yourself enough. You know, that's what you have to understand, that you have to uh, uphold your word on what you're saying you're going to do. You know, that's powerful right there. And that's the main thing that people don't look at the smallest things that could help you, you know, kick you out of that negative mindset, you know. Like, that's where I was, you know. Us as humans, we always choose the path of less resistance. Your mind's going to be playing tricks on you. Your mind's going to be telling you, ah, you know what, you don't got to do this. You relax, chill. Especially if you have a hard day, that goes with everything, you know, like the, when I used to have long days, you know, I used to drive for like more than, you know, 17, 18 hours. You used to come home beat, you know, but, uh, you know, not, not to the point that, you know, the body can't even, you know, do no more. You were just mentally beat. And, uh, <clears throat> that's when we start procrastinating. That's when we just start telling ourselves, you know, all the excuses why, you know, we shouldn't go hit the gym or why we shouldn't. Uh, go do what we had said we were going to do, a task that we set ourselves to do. You just want to go and do nothing. So those are going to be the challenges that you're going to have to overcome. You know, once I realized that it was just the mind uh, mind game and, and it, it's all mindset, how you view life. So it's like the more you have in your plate, you're going to be stronger. You're going to be better off. You're going to be tested. So it's just your perspective in life. That's just what it comes down to. You know, because people always want to choose the path of less resistance because, you know, it's just comfort. They want com uh, comfort. Everybody's seeking comfort. You know, you go put in the least as possible at your work and uh, come home and, and think that you should kick your feet up. And, you know, you uh, need all this, you know, to relax, you know, whatever you do, whether it's drink, whether it's, it's just eat. Because a lot of people go... Uh, a long time without eating. I know that was my issue before, you know, I used to go try to smash work, just try to drive, not even stop, you know, give myself 10 minutes to try to, uh, you know, eat something healthy. You know, I was always in the go. And then uh, once I got home, I used to just tear it up, you know, destroying my body, you know, for that, for a lot of years that I did that and until I caught myself, you know, like just going down uh, after I, you know, pretty much my whole day, just flew by me. I used to go uh, to work at one o'clock in the a.m. You used to uh, get out like around two and uh, pull pull some uh, some hours and uh, come home and uh, eat. You know, eat till I couldn't. You know, I was hungry, so I used to starve myself. You know, just because I wanted to come home and not really realize that I was hurting myself by doing that. You know, come home, eat that big meal. And then right right off the back, you know, just fall into a deep coma. You know, a food coma. You know, I was developing a habit, you know, so that habit of just comfortness because, uh, you know, instead of me, you know, setting myself up, you know, uh, structuring my meals throughout the day, you know, getting home, knowing that I was just mentally drained, but not physically drained, and then uh, go hit my workout. So for a while, I was like hating it. That's when you start living miserable. That's when you start, you know, with, you know, just talking yourself all negative with a bunch of, uh, you know, excuses that you set yourself with because uh, you just don't feel right. You know, you're pissed off. You don't even, uh, you get to a point where like, you know, what you thought you love to do, whether it's a good company or not, you know, you start developing hate towards it, you know, because uh, it, it's kicking you out of what, you know, uh, out of your plans that you had set up or something comes up and then it derails you from, you know, what you had uh, set for the day. And, and that's where everybody doesn't pivot. Everybody doesn't, you know, move around and, and uh, find a way, you know. So, you know, we do that to ourselves. We're the ones that, you know, get in our own way, you know. So all those problems are, once you see how minor they are, like th that it's a choice, that it's something that, you know, that's that's what, uh, you know, you know, everybody does, you know. It's so fucking common that everybody just, you know, because it's them, they they uh, they reward themselves 
in a, in a manner that is destroying themselves. So it's not like it's helping you in a way of like, you know, pushing yourself more. You know, it's like you want to do less. So how are you going to get more by doing less? That's where everybody don't don't get. It's never going to be the perfect day. It's never going to be the perfect uh, time. It's never going to fit your, your wallet, you know, and that's what people got to understand. You know, that's why I say adversity introduces a, a man to himself in a manner that, you know, you're going to uh, start finding yourself. You're going to start, you know, building yourself with, within where you're going to know what you're capable of because you're always, you know, overcoming challenges. You're always, uh, you know, finding a way, you know, a way to do it, you know, finding a way in. You know, why everybody else is find, finding a way out, you know, we're trying to find a way in, you know, how are we going to get it done? You know, wow, this guy, this guy got thrown at me. Now I got, I got more in my place. So now I got to, you know, I got to pivot, adjust and still make it happen. Regardless, that's what's going to separate you from uh, everybody. You know, knowing that, you know, those are, are the smallest things that, that, you know, let you, uh, that, that you let get to you, you know, so as you start smashing those are you I, as you start not negotiating with comfort and, and handling business on the small task so when something big arri arises or some uh big lands in your lap you know you don't crumble you don't crack you're able to pivot and adjust you're ready for it you know but a lot of people that's you know they're they're you know they're cracking on the on the smallest thing that's so common in the in this life you know that when something uh, bigger comes and hits, you get crushed. You know, you, you didn't deal with no adversity. You didn't deal with no big problems. You know, if the smallest problems in life were crushing you or stopping you, which that's baby boy level, where like you're getting in your own way because of like minor little things that, you know, get in front of you, which is common, uh, you know, common situations that, that that's life, you know? You're letting that stop you. So what makes you think you're going to smash the bigger problems that are going to come your way? So as more problems come your way to try to stop you, it's just going to be levels that you, you're going to have to challenge yourself to overcome it. You know, and those are our levels that, you know, people don't, they, they don't want to do because they, they seem that it's impossible. It's hard, but nothing uh, good in this life is going to be easy. It's not just going to be handed down to you. That's why everything here, it's earned, you know? So I, I had to come to realize that, nah, man, me being that person that I am, we're like, you know, you know, trying to uh, accept challenges, you know, even me, I was going down the wrong path of like not wanting uh, to uh, have any, uh, you know, any challenges come my way. You know, I just wanted to be comfortable, not, uh, not do anything, you know, just leave me alone. But that doesn't work because all you're going to do is regress. There is no stagnation. You cannot stay still. You're going to start, you know, regressing. You're going to start slowing your yourself down where it's going to come to a point where you're going to realize, damn, man, how did I get here? And it's because of that. You know, it's because you just didn't do nothing. You just, just stop. You just stop, you know, overcoming. You just stop, uh, you know, uh, accepting challenges where like you just avoided them you know it was easier for you to say no i'm not gonna do that i'm just better off here oh i don't gotta do that so it's you're the one that's in control you know you're the one that dictates your day you're the one that dictates your life you're the ones that you're the one that that makes the, the life that you want you know but everybody has to realize that you know there's levels to this shit so you're gonna have to overcome a lot of challenges that are going to come your way. So if you're used to smashing all these little minor problems that people make make it so big and so grand just because you woke, woke up on the wrong side of the bed and all of a sudden they gave you an extra stop or you have an extra extra work to do at, jo at your workplace and now instead of doing your eight hours that you usually do, now you're doing 15 and now everything that you had planned just goes down the drain because you just talk yourself into believing that you're overworked, that you did more than you had to, and that everything else that you had planned should be left uh, behind. No, nah, you got to make it happen. You, you got to find a way to pull it off because that's what's going to create that mindset that you want, that warrior mindset that you want to, uh, 
You know that whatever comes your way, there's nothing that's going to stop you. You're going to just keep going and pushing. And as you get more challenges, you're going to keep going and pushing. You know, you're just going to fucking bob and weave, bob and weave, move and, and pivot around life. You know, there is nothing that's going to be, you might have a, a, a streak, you might be having a good week, but you know, that time, that day is going to come where you're going to get a little uh, challenge thrown at you and see if you're still going to pull everything off because at the end of the day, that's how you're going to be able to uh, succeed and uh, reach new levels in this life. And, you know, I'm proving it here where people see me, where I started, how I started building myself. And I just, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping because I know that that's our main downfall. We just give up. We stop. We get too comfortable. And that's exactly what we can do. We got to push ourselves more and more and more. We don't know what we're capable of doing. We never reached that level to know, you know, that we're capable of more. I haven't even reached that level. I'm still fighting, you know, every day as well, you know, but I know that it's just going to have to be done regardless. You make it non-negotiable. No matter how you feel, you get shit done. Let's run it.